Grand Theft Auto 5 is such a large game that it has literally hundreds of glitches, and I have spent the last few years documenting each and every one of them, the funniest of which I have brought together for this video. Aiming down your weapon sight and attempting to roll into a pedestrian can cause unusual effects. If you park a bus here on the freeway, it will confuse the pathing of the other drivers. If you attempt to hook up with someone for a third time, your date will attempt to satisfy you while you're driving to your destination. If instead of driving you use a taxi, the results can be quite uncomfortable. Hey, so you wanna, um, like, hook up? I'll be waiting for you at the marina. It's a bit of a drive. How about I get you warmed up? What do we have here, Mr. Winky? <sighs> <sighs> This job wouldn't be so bad if it weren't for all the shitty drivers in Los Santos. If you start a hangout, fly to the meetup in a helicopter, and then switch character, the NPC will be confused. Franklin! Hey kid, you wanna do something? On pulling favors, if you block Tanya's door and then get into the tow truck, Tanya will politely ask you to get out of the vehicle. I mean, I baby doze now and again just for the taste, but I'm doing good, boo. Your eyes don't lie. Whatever you. Uh, whatever you say, girl. Come on. At the pier, if you stand on a particular step, you will do an incomplete dive. On the mission Legal Trouble, if you use Michael's power while chasing Molly, she will become incredibly confused. Save me from this murderer! Molly! Molly! Stop him! Stop him! He's a killer! Save me from this murderer! He's a psychopath! Given enough time, Molly will eventually teleport back to her normal path. Sometimes NPCs in this game will actually break the physics in order to hit you in your vehicle. The most blatant example of this is tow trucks of both the small and the large variety. Ah! Are you for real? Have you ever wondered what happens when you try to hook up with a prostitute while on the train tracks? We can do whatever you want. Fuck this shit! I'm out of here! All games have glitches, but none are as horrifying as when you use a tank to bring Trevor and Wade to Los Santos on the GT5 mission Friends for United. Family's important, Wade. Not as important as the man that's employed you, mentored you, and fed you amphetamines this last year, but it's important. Okay, um... Another chapter of the lost have descended on this fine town. I don't think we'd be welcome there, I mean... Grief has a beautiful way of bringing folk together, Wade. Bringing multiple characters to the strip club individually can cause weird results. Wow, cool, bumping into you. Trevor, somewhere, I think. I asked for your number, but they took my phone. Getting out of your flying vehicle when you're at high speed and low altitude will cause you to dive sideways. On the mission complications, you are required to sneak into Michael's house without alerting his family. Funnily enough, with a silenced pistol, you can shoot certain items in Jimmy's room without alerting him. Oh, 
Ooh, slaughter time! There are a handful of ladders in the game that are short enough that you can jump up them instead of climbing them. This can have the side effect of weird camera angles. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Because we speedrun on patch 1.27, I'm always interested in glitches that exist on that patch, even if they don't exist on the current version. One of my favourites is the ability to flip your boat using mouse controls. This rare event that can happen between NPCs is one of the dumbest that can happen in the game. What? Vamos to car, amigo. Okay, I'm calling you. lose, what? I win. When drinking from a soda machine, enemies will stop shooting at you until you're finished drinking. When at the water tower on the mission Nervous Ron, if you call the police and then threaten them, they will spawn infinite flashlights. The game does nothing to prevent you from being an absolute jerk to anyone you play against on the golf course. Clown. Nice shot. Mm. Four. Mm. Hey, look out! Nice <laughs> approach. Ah! Uh, you're a joker. Mm. Ah! Uh, ah! Man, I gotta work on my swing, really. During Dead Man Walking, if you bring the police to the point where you're meant to meet Franklin, the police will shoot and kill Franklin despite him doing nothing wrong. He's not Reload! With the right movement and a bit of luck, you can activate some vending machines without facing them. Damn, that was alright! Switching character to someone on the ground just before you crash is funnier than it has any right to be. Motherfucker clean. Hey Franklin, can you call me a cab? Oh, you're a psycho, you know that? Everyone makes mistakes. I'm not trying to be perfect. Hello? If you start a street race while driving a taxi and then shoot to fail, you will spawn with a standard buffalo. However, if you start most street races instead with a buffalo and then shoot to fail, you would instead spawn with nothing at all. It turns out that if you get out of the buffalo and fail the race, it will continue to spawn you additional buffaloes. While there does appear to be a limit, you can do this many, many times. On Trevor's side mission, Vinewood Souvenirs, you are tasked with getting rid of a kidnapped movie star, and you are free to kindly release him pretty much anywhere. <clears throat> I've decided to accept your kind offer on the understanding that you keep your mouth shut. Unless, of course, you want to be returned to uh, Sir Fruitcake and Lady Scaroolus back there. No, 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 I, I promise to uh, take it all. Just, just let me go. Hey, keep making terrible movies, Al.
I'm sure everyone knows that if you follow a main character in GTA 5 that they will eventually punch you out, but did you know this happens even in the ocean? Stop the stalking! Okay, your choice, funny guy! Leave. Me. Alone! Hey, relax, homie, you bucking the fuck out! Okay, your choice, funny guy! On the mission Nervous Run, when you reach the plane you are normally stuck using an assault rifle with unlimited ammo to beat the bikers. However, if you die, there is a brief window when loading back in where you can switch to fists. Where's the guards at? However, something more interesting happens if you switch from fists to a different weapon. You can give your guns to NPCs in GTA 5. During any robbery event, just change weapon as you are giving back their wallets and you will give them far more than that. Here man, man I'm a hypocrite. What a gentleman. And for once, I'm not being sarcastic. On the open tennis courts, not even death will deter your opponent from facing you in tennis. So how many Ever go up against a lawyer tennis player? So how many th Wanna see if you can beat a pro? The Yellow Jack Inn in GTA 5 has the cleanest launch glitch when you kick these boxes against the fence. <laughs> ah! That is, unless you die. <laughs> Honestly, still pretty clean though. The random event snatched involves saving a woman from the lost motorcycle gang. It's safe. You can come out now. Oh, thank God. I don't even want to think about what they'd have done to me. It seems as though the developers did not consider that a player might use a helicopter during this event. All is fine until the motorcycle enemies arrive. Oh, no, 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 no. There's more. They're coming after us. Get rid of them. It seems the rubber banding effect of these bikers was not programmed to consider the height of the vehicle that you're in. Later on in the game, when you switch to Michael, you can find him bracing a man who has a very unique defense tactic when threatened. Did you know you can pick up women in GTA 5? Michael and Franklin can talk positively to NPCs, and if any respond by talking about their day, they will get into any vehicle you are in. What's going on? My new job. <laughs> All the big stars walk by my desk. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry I asked. <laughs> Please, stop speaking to me. I just look famous. <laughs> Fuck your broke ass. There is a broken bike that spawns halfway into a wall at this location and thus it glitches out spectacularly. There is a special glitch that occurs in GTA 5 if you kill someone stealing Trevor's car at just the right moments. Out of the car now or I'll blow your brains out! On the construction accident random event, if you destroy the white van without activating the cutscene, it will fly into the air. In this attempt, coincidentally, it got caught on the crane's hook, but that isn't always the case.
Between the missions scouting the port and Hang Ten, Trevor is able to interact with Mr. Raspberry Jam, a bear that he is intimate with. So strong is their bond that the cops will wait patiently for their shows of affection. You'll keep our secret. Mm, Gucci, Gucci, Goo! On my command! Oh, oh, whoa! I am vanilla by your standards. Suspect last seen on, uh, Gomez Street. Later, you filthy bear, you. Huh? <laughs> you are a naughty bear, Mr. Jam! Oh, you scaly fucker! Friends forever. I'll kill you! Uh, reloading! If you knock over a BMX bike on a tennis court, then attempt to get on it as you start a game of tennis, you will become permanently invisible until you die. Yeah. Are we gonna do this then? Okay, check this out. My most sincere congratulations. When you have a wanted level, it enables you to use weapons in your home, allowing for effects that shouldn't be possible. Oddly, sleeping does not despawn the last vehicle that you rode, meaning that you can put yourself into some awkward situations. This is the greatest possible way to enter a conversation. Try it with your friends at home. You're late, sugar tits. Yep. So what's going on? Oh. <laughs> Franklin is a lethal threat when he brings out his phone. At least that is what everyone in the movie studio believes on the GTA 5 mission deep inside. <laughs> Have you ever wondered what happens when you put a large truck inside Michael's automatic garage? Patch 1.58 has brought an impressively broken glitch to GTA 5 and it all starts by dying on the first few frames as you enter a mission that has no cutscene. The easiest mission to achieve this is the tow truck setup for the Blitz Play Heist. I get out and put C4 on my car, begin to drive, lock my FPS to 30 to make the required frames last longer, and then I explode my C4 just as I see the mission activate on my map. Being invisible shows I succeeded, but invisibility isn't what we're here to see. Now we want to die and then we try, followed by blowing up the tow truck in order to get a mission fail without dying, which allows us to then leave the mission. Now when we switch and switch back, it leaves our character in a truly horrific state. This can be done with both Trevor and Franklin, but for me at least, doing it with Mike would simply result in the game crashing. Look at him and tell me there's a god! Oh no, 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 no. Oh yeah, that's right! God's a big meatball! I forgot! NPCs that you brutally knock off their bike can be quite forgiving if you happen to get on their bike at the right time. Unfortunately, when you get off the bike, your new friend will panic and run away. Oh, what the Melee weapons are unable to make these gas canisters explode, unlike a single hit from a gun. Huh. 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 
When pulled from your car while attempting to engage with a prostitute, the game will put you back into a driving stance. If you decide to work as a taxi driver, your passenger will look angry whenever you drive over 72 kilometers per hour, which of course is 45 miles per hour. It turns out that the character you control does this as well, but normally you wouldn't notice. Many of you may be unaware that Trevor has a side mission at the very end of the game where he needs to get a van of pills for his mother. Once you start the mission, the door to Trevor's house will be locked, but you can still hear Mrs. Phillips inside. I see you moping around like a little girl who didn't get picked for best fairy. Go get my pills! Using any camera mod reveals that Mrs. Phillips isn't there. It's actually a maid saying the lines. You like seeing your mother in pain, do you? You selfish little boy. Can't you do anything right? No wonder your father walked out on us. If instead you cause some explosions, get a wanted level and push against the door, you will eventually be let in. In some cases, you'll see the maid run across the room and disappear. If so, going to sleep to remove the wanted level and then attempting to leave the house will cause the game to show a shuffling of different maids as it tries to load one in to give voice to Mrs. Phillips. Moving outside will cause a selection to be made, but it turns out you can repeatedly move inside and out to spawn as many maids as you desire. While the maids normally just walk away into the distance with no particular destination in mind, blocking the stairs with a car means they can't get away. These maids also can't be shot, but they can be meleeed for some reason. Listen, even your parents can't stay. People sitting at bus stops have a strange relationship with the bus stop itself. Seriously, dude. Come any closer, I'll call the cops. On the mission Legal Trouble, when chasing after Molly in Devon Weston's hangar, if you try to drink a soda, you will immediately mission fail. I'm just a white collar criminal. We're this is true even after Molly has been taken into the jet engine. The game will suggest that she has escaped and therefore you mission fail despite her predicaments. If you go into waist high water and fire a rocket downwards, it will float up into the air. Because C4 goes off sequentially and each C4 does not explode other C4, stacking a lot of it in one place can cause some interesting effects. The max C4 you can use at any one time in single player is 20. If while on a hangout you go and sleep in your safe house, the person you're hanging out with will simply wait all night staring at you. Franklin, hey kid, how about we hook up for some R&R? &R? Trevor's hipster rampage has a chance to spawn a bike called the Fixter, and this is the only place this bike can be found. More interestingly, if during the rampage you get on one of these bikes, shoot a person with a shotgun, and then stay on the bike for the remainder of the rampage, this happens. I'm frankly unsure what causes this.
Aggressive civilians are afraid of taxis. Hey, my man, where you going? Phones in this game are strong enough to block a bullet. Most missions despawn irrelevant objects from the area so they do not mess up the cutscenes. The mission Father Son is different in that it does not do this for all objects. What do you want? Man, I come by for that drink you offered, that's all. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. Okay. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. It's called capitalism. On rare occasions, people performing yoga will appear here on these silos near the trailer park. They are surprisingly weak. I'm really not in the mood for this. You know what? You're a one nasty fuck. The outer rim of the court center turns out to be a very good hiding place from the police. You're dead. Give it up. It's almost perfect. Unfortunately, they will occasionally cheat. When two main characters are brought together, the character you are not controlling will get out of their vehicle in order to offer you a chance to hang out. This is normally a perfectly fine interaction, but things change when both characters are in flying vehicles. Hey T, so you wanna do something on board? Start your turd! Come on! Ah! How you know where I am? Is there a tracker under my skin? If you fail on some missions, you and your allies will respawn in your vehicle. Starting these missions with a tank, which only has one seat, can produce interesting results. My dear boy, so good to see you, so good. Let's go to Vespucci. What we waiting for? Magellan Ab, nigga. Vespucci Beach. Hey, wasn't that motherfucker who took the bike that S.A. Vagos do? With the tattoo on his face and shit? Yeah, that was him. Fuck, homie. I don't want no unnecessary bullshit here, all right? Nigga, I don't give a shit. It's a reason Simeon pays a couple of mean-looking motherfuckers to come repo this shit. We ain't Girl Scouts. In your case, I ain't so sure about that. When loading a save file inside Trevor's trailer, he can unfortunately spawn on the toilet with his pants down, struggling to relieve himself. Oh, man, I'm back up. Oh, I might need a C-section. need a... Fucking midwife for this thing. If you find him in this state and get a two star wanted level while at his trailer, he will instantly pull up his pants and flee down the road before abruptly coming to a halt. This is a power thing, buddy. You're, You're really the... making my skin crawl. Additionally, if you get and then lose a wanted level further away from Trevor's trailer, but still in the general area, when you switch to Trevor, he will still have his pants down, but be completely controllable. Should we grab a drink? Nah, it's okay. Rockstar did go to the effort to model Trevor's cock and balls, so to limit the amount I have to censor, I will understandably be showing him mainly from the back. Surprisingly, Trevor is entirely playable in this state. You don't look cool, kids. Listen, nobody likes you. What a fucking asshole. The only real difference is that he can tank trains without dying for some reason. Uh, holy 
He can, however, still die and be arrested, which results in him putting his pants back on. Let's go, cupcake! <laughs> During prologue, if you don't switch to Trevor and allow the struggle with the guard to run its natural course, it ends in a pretty funny way. On the mission The Third Way, Franklin is responsible for taking out Wei Cheng. If you take him out very quickly after mission failing, an interesting bug occurs. The Mission 3's company has a very cool glitch that I'm surprised I didn't know of before. When you regain control of Michael who is repelled down the side of the building, if you rapidly tap your weapon as opposed to holding it, you'll be given momentum. This can enable you to literally float through the building. There does not seem to be any limit as to how far you can go. While your rope physically appears tethered to the helicopter above, it doesn't actually do anything and so will stretch as far as you go. Even better, you don't need to go into the building, you can float away from it. I flew as far as Franklin who was sniping to give Michael cover. I hope you enjoyed the video and if there's any other compilations you want me to make, be sure to leave them in the comments. I wish you all the best.